So you messed up and you did a big mistake and you accidentally deleted a bunch of your listings off of eBay. Today we're gonna to show you how to easily fix that, bring them back straight from eBay, no cost to you. All it's gonna cost is a little bit of your time. Hey, it's Don. Today we're gonna discuss deleted listings on eBay, how that works and how to get those back straight from eBay itself. Now, the biggest misconception is if I delete an item out of my hub on eBay, my store, whatever the case may be, completely delete it from inventory, that it's gone and it's not recoverable from eBay. I need a, a third party or something else like that to be able to pull them all in. Now, to do syncing and stuff, you 100% have to have a third party to sync up items from eBay to other platforms. But to bring them back, there is an easy way to get them back without leaving eBay itself. Now, deleting an item from eBay's hub, your store, is not the same thing as deleting them from eBay, from viewable content. Now, in just the last seven or eight weeks, I've had three people lose a total of 450 listings. Two people lost 200 listings and a third person lost 50 listings on there. They were complete panic uh, when they got in touch with me. They contacted eBay apparently and they were told they were just gone. There's no way to get them back. You can't just bring them back in supposedly. Now I don't know the conversation. I didn't have it. I don't know. I have no reason to doubt what was said, but who knows? So um, anyway, once you delete them from your store, they're still visible on eBay itself. So it's easy to get them back with those cases there those three folks they got them back and i think the longest it took one of them was about 35 minutes to get 200 of their listings back on back live and the whole works they were completely gone from the hub now ebay used to have some other features in the hub in your store that you could use to view your content your your listings and stuff like that but it's been removed for god knows what reason it's caused a ton of panic from a lot of people through the years i've heard untold amount of, of uh, you know, people having this happen to them. I've lost some listings here and there. When we uh, list on certain other sites, sometimes I'll just pull them down manually if the link is having issues or something. And those show up in the ended listing section on eBay. I'll basically drop the quantity to zero, and then from there I will end the listing. I have a zero quantity option, so my listings still run when there's zero quantity. So um, I have to do something a little different. I've occasionally deleted them and then had to go back in and pull them back up because I messed up. So it happens. When you end and sell similar, it's far easier to do 200 at a time. And that's where all these three cases happen in just these last few weeks. Now I've probably had three, four dozen people reach out to me about this type of thing and how to get them back and things like that as well too. I was under the impression quite some time ago that the way eBay talked, you couldn't get in the back. But after digging around and, and trying all sorts of things, it, it's very easy to get them back. So anyway, let's hop over and let's show you exactly how to get your listings back if you accidentally deleted them. So once again, if you delete something from your hub, your store, it's only deleted from your hub or your store. It still exists in a spot on eBay. And if you know where that spot is, you can bring it back. Now, I've actually just grabbed one. This is a postcard. It's uh, slated to be relisted in a few days. I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. We're going to come over here. We're in my store. I've pulled it up. Same listing, same everything. In fact, we're going to highlight the title so I can show you without a doubt once we delete it that it is not in my store. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to um, end this. Again, we're going to just end it. It's in my hub right now end listing. Now this is what you do if you're going to end and sell similar. You would end a bunch of listings. You can go to unsold right here. Obviously there's other places you could go and see the same thing, but um, bring it on up here. Now I have a couple other ones. It's acting up today. Let's reload and see if it pops them back up here. I've got a couple other ones. These sold on another platform. I just ended them just so I can uh, wait until they pay for them. The first one, in fact, this one's been paid for right here. But anyway, I, I sometimes have other ones in here. Now, if you're going to end and sell similar, let's say I already relisted or sold similar this vintage 
Russian Gulch Bridge postcard. I would just sit here once I've relisted it and then I delete it. So I'm going to just delete this. It's going to be gone right off the bat. So if I again reload, it'll say two now, two ones that have ended. Now let's go over here. Let's clear off and reset everything. Now I've got a bunch of sales running, so my my uh, inventory value is all over the place. We've got roughly 39,000 listings as of now. We're working up. We're still adding listings constantly. So let's reset, make sure everything's reset in here. I'm going to clear off everything so there's no history whatsoever. And let's just go ahead. I've already got it typed in there, but let's just reload the page one time just so, again, everybody can see that it's not listed anywhere in any of my inventory. And we'll go ahead and... I'm sorry, I'll pop it right in here, and we will search for it, and it's totally gone. Now, it's not going to show up and ended. I've deleted it. So again, there's only these three here. There's nothing else in sold, unsold, anything else, any other chance of it being anywhere in my inventory. So if you lost, say, 200 listings, you can easily get them back. Just pick one of your items, any one of your items whatsoever. And from here, you just go ahead and click See Other Items. Don't click Visit Store. The option isn't available from Visit Store. All you want to do is See Other Items. So this will take you to my listings, not my store, so to speak, but my listings on eBay. And if you look over here on the left side, one of the options is Completed Items. It doesn't matter if it's sold. It doesn't matter at all. It just matters that it's gone. So if I deleted this, I ended it, and then I deleted it. I click the completed listings and it's going to show up here. Give it a second here. It takes a minute to update usually. There it is, right there. It is in the ended section right now. So all you do is click on the listing and then it'll give you an option to relist that item. It's just that simple. And if you did that to say 200 listings, I could go ahead and do the exact same thing. Open them up and relist, open it up and relist take you, I don't know, a minute or so to do a couple of them. So in 15, 20 minutes, you should easily be able to get a couple hundred of these back up if you accidentally deleted them. If you deleted just one or two, very, very easy to bring them back this way also. If you didn't realize you did it and it was from a few days ago, you can still bring them back this way also. So there are many different ways to bring stuff back. If eBay ended it for some reason or some other glitch happened, Usually the listing will be found right in this very same spot under completed listings. So it's the number one place to find anything that you removed from your own hub or that just vanished. Now, in some cases, when eBay auto relists item, I've seen where the item disappeared and wasn't actually in this list. But if you made the mistake, you can easily get them back. The biggest factor here in this is the fact that the hub, your store side, is not the same as all of eBay. eBay keeps records of this. You can see it, and other people can see them as well. So, and these are items that we've just sold in the last, uh, I don't know, day or so here. You can see the dates on these. I think today is the, uh, it's the morning of the 24th right now. So you can see some have been ended, some have sold as well, and on and on and on and on. So that's the gist on this. Just remember that your hub is completely different than eBay and that there are other options. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. Almond Joy's got nuts, mounds don't. Almond Joy's got real milk chocolate, coconut and munchy nuts too. Mounds got deep dark chocolate and chewy coconut. Ooh. Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't.
don't. Peter Paul, I'm a joy's got nuts. Peter Paul, mouse don't. Because sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't.